and there we go. We've got A and not B, or A and not B or C, or B and not B or C. What does this look like in a circuit? Well, in a word, ugly. I mean, look at that. You've got your, right here is the output, A and not B being fed into our final OR gate. Oh, we've got some construction going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And then here's our A and not OR B or C, nor B or C. And then here's our B and not B or C, all being fed into our final three input OR gates. So ugly. Let's see if we can go ahead and simplify this. So basically our first one right here is to use De Morgan's theorem on this guy. So what is that? It's the negation of the uh, of those variables anded together. We can also use that right there. Okay, now what do we do? How do we simplify this? Well, here we've got this interesting thing, b and not b. That's equal to zero according to our laws of Boolean algebra. We still have the rest here. And now zero and anything is equal to zero. I'm just carrying over the ones that I haven't done anything with. So now this whole thing or together with a zero, does a zero affect an or? No, it doesn't. Again, according to our laws of Boolean algebra, so a or zero is equal to a. Okay, so now what do we do? Looks like we've got a common factor of a not b, a not b. So we're going to factor those out, a not b. And here's our, what our factoring look like, just like, just like regular math. So what is this here? One or not c, anything with a one, so one or a is equal to one, it's always true. So basically we could say one. So A and not B and one. So anything that's ended with one is equal to that. So let us look at our final truth table. Excuse me, finer, final circuit. This is a lot simpler than that. You basically saved yourself umpteen million connections and one, two, three, four, five, six gates has been shrunk down, excuse me, seven gates because you've got that knot in there. It's been shrunk down to a and with a not gate. So simplification again is saved hardware, saved weight, saved wiring. Okay, save complications basically. Let's do another example because again, these things have to be earned. You can't buy this stuff. Let's try this one. Here you go, let's try this one. So not A and B, or not A and C, or not A and not B and not C. So what does this look like in a circuit? There you go. And word, not pretty. Um, this right here, remember from our previous discussion, that could be replaced with a NAND gate because it's a not and. Um, what can this guy be replaced with? Well, that's a negative. One second, let me draw that correctly. It's a negative and, which we remember right is equivalent to a NOR gate. See how it's negated inputs to an, into an and. So a negative and can be replaced with a NOR gate. But yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't really help us. But let's talk about this circuit here. So how can we simplify this guy? Well, use De Morgan's theorem for this guy. Not A or, oops, not C, not B. Use De Morgan's theorem for this guy. Not A or not C. Keep this guy going right here. What's our uh, our next step here? 
is, well, A or not A. We can combine these two together. Let's just put them together. A or not A. And we're keeping everything in there. Well, those combine, according to our laws of uh, Boolean algebra, as to just not A. Because A or A is equal to A. Okay, so now what do we what do we have here? We've got this long expression, but it doesn't matter which one you want. It just just pick one. Uh, you can there's a common factor not a. There's a common factor not a. Not b, common factor not b. Not c, common factor not c. Whichever one you want to, just grab one of them. Let's just do b. So it's not a or not c or not b. We factored it out. So it's 1 or not a and not c. But check this out here. This can be simplified to 1 because anything ORed with 1 is always equal to 1. 